Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing how to multiply floating point binary numbers. So before multiplication, we have to think about the different rules for binary multiplication. The different rules are 0 into 0 is 0, 1 into 0 is 0, 0 into 1 is 0 and 1 into 1 will result in 1. So let us consider an example. So question is multiply 11.11 with 10.11. So for multiplication, first of all, let us consider how many fractional points are total over in these two different numbers. So the total fractional points are 1, 2, 3 and 4. So there are four different fractional points and before multiplication, let us consider or let us remove this fractional point. So keep in your mind that we have four different fractional points. So first of all, by removing this fractional point and multiplying these two numbers will result in 1 is multiplied with this number results in 1, 1, 1, 1. When again 1 is multiplied with this number will result in 1, 1, 1, 1. When 0 is multiplied with this number that will result in 0, 0, 0 and 0 and finally when this 1 is multiplied with this number results in 1, 1, 1 and 1 and in the next step we have to add these numbers so by binary addition when 1 is added with 0 that will result in 1, 1 plus 1 will give us 0 with a carry of 1, 1 plus 1 will result in 0 with a carry of 1 and 0 plus 1 will give you 1. And 1 plus 1 will result in 0 with a carry 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry of 1. Again, 1 plus 1 will result in 0 with a carry of 1, 0 plus 1 will result in 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 will be 0 with a carry of 1. And 1 plus 1 will result in 0 with a carry 1, 0 plus 1 will result in 1, and finally, 1 plus 1 will result in 0 with a carry of 1. So while considering the final answer, let us consider the four floating points. So for finding the final answer, let us count four different positions from the least significant bit position, the LSB position or the rightmost position. So the floating point should be placed four points from the LSB. That is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So the final answer will be 1010.0101. So this is how we are multiplying a fractional. So my dear students, consider one more example. In the second example, we can see 1.111 and which is multiplied by 111.1. So here the total fractional points are 1, 2, 3 and 4. So again we can see 4 different fractional point values and what we have to do is multiply the number without considering the fractional point. So we are multiplying 1, 1, 1, 1. When second one is multiplied with the number that will result in 1, 1, 1, 1. When third number is multiplied that will result in this value and when fourth number is multiplied which will result in this value. And in the binary additive step, we can see 1 plus 0 will result in 1, 1 plus 1 will result in 0 with a carry of 1, and this 1 plus 1 will result in 0 with a carry of 1. Again, 0 plus 1 will be 1, 1 plus 1 will be 0 with a carry of 1. Again, look at here, 1 plus 1 will result in 0 with a carry of 1, 0 plus 1 will be 1. 1 plus 1 will be 0 with a carry of 1. Again, 0 plus 1 will be 1. 1 plus 1 will be 0 with a carry of 1. 1 plus 1 will result in 0 with a carry of 1. 0 plus 1 will be 1. 1 plus 1 will be 0 with a carry of 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 will be 0 with a carry over of 1. 1 plus 1 will result in 0 carry of 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 will be 0 with a carry of 1, 0 plus 1 will result in 1 and finally 1 plus 1 will result in 0 with a carry of 1 and 0 plus 1 will result in 1 and finally 1 
will be carried over to this point or m must be position so the final answer is calculated based upon the floating divisional position after the floating point we should place four different binary digits and for that we have to consider four points from the lsb that is 1 2 3 and 4 so the final answer will be so my dear students this is how we are performing the multiplication of a floating point binary numbers so my dear students hope you had understood this topic dear students kindly go through this assignment questions the questions are multiply 1110.11 with 11.110 second question is 110.1101 with 1.1110 and third question is multiply 1.01 with 0 0.01 so dear students hope you have understood this topic so my dear students in the upcoming lecture we will perform the ones complement and twos complement operations that should be performed in a binary number so see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best